this webinar from Universidad Católica, where you joined in to hear about the one year specializing master in innovation in food science and technology with specialization from Ferrero. Now, you're going to hear about this program in the next 45 minutes or so. And uh, we have a great lineup of speakers ready for you. Now, before we go over to them, um, I'd like to briefly mention to you some of the interactive options because we try to make it as interactive as possible. First of all, um, you can tell us in the chat, let us know where you're logging in from. Um, so that, that way we can uh, have an idea where which country you're logging in from. It would be great to see. Second of all, if you have any questions, please, by all means, write your questions at any time through the panel called questions at the right bottom. If you do it at that tab, we will be able to, um, yeah, to answer your questions at the end. Also, I will be opening up a couple of poll questions. So have a look out at those as well, just to get to know you a little bit better and to know a bit about your background. And last but not least, we have a little fun button, so to say, at the bottom of the screen, um, you see a button called React. If you click on that button, and then you can yeah, let us know if you hear something you like, for example. Exactly, that's the one. So just to make it a little bit more fun and interactive and uh, for the speakers as well to uh, yeah, see that you're not only paying attention, but that you're enjoying the presentation hopefully as well. So without further ado, uh, talking about speakers, we will go over to the presenters and we will start off with the uh, program manager um, so we um, from Catolica International, Ariana Malavasi, she will introduce herself and her team. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Luke, for the introduction. I'm happy to be here today. Nice to meet you. I know that we have prospective students connected, I guess, from all over the world, because I was checking the data and we have students from Central and South America, from the Middle East, from India, going to Far East Asia. So welcome. My name is Arianna Malavasi, and I'm responsible for the International Education Office of uh, Universidad Cattolica de Sacro Cuore. So I'm representing our office today. But I'm happy uh, to start this webinar on the second level when you're specializing master in innovation and food science and technology michele ferrero by giving you a quick you know overlook of the topics we will discuss today so first of all a few information about Università Cattolica del Sacro Cuore. Then we'll turn the spotlight on our Santa Monica campus in Cremona, and we'll tell you more about our laboratories, okay, state-of-the-art laboratories. So keep this in mind. We're going to present you a one-year specializing master, which is not just academic, but very much hands-on, very much professionalizing. Then we'll cover the master's core, the five pillars, and we'll discover more about the scientific activities and internship that we are conducting in cooperation with Ferrero. So once again, one year specializing master program in cooperation between Universita Cattolica and Ferrero, the academic part and the industry, the practice part. Then we'll understand what real world application means going deeper, diving deeper into the fifth pillar of this program, the business case. Then welcome also to former student who give us insights and advice about his experience. So what should our future, our prospective students expect from this master? How did this master actually help our former students getting introduced into the industry, into the job market? Then the boring part, enter requirements and application timeline but very much important and informative because you need to understand how much the program costs when you should apply what are the documents that you need to uh, submit and then uh, we'll wrap up the session with a q a and look will help us with it let's meet the speakers of this webinar super quick professor lorenzo morelli master coordinator then we have professor gallo the master director we have melanie sharam from ferrero Professor Sagi from the Faculty of Agricultural Food and Environmental Sciences at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. We have Professor Giuseppe Poli from the Department of Chemical and Biological Sciences at the University of Torino. Our former student, Eduardo Zotta, working now in Ferrero as a sensory analyst. And then it's me, okay? And I will be actually the one starting the presentation, as, as I was saying, telling you a little bit more about Universita Cattolica del Sacro Cuore. 
Università Cattolica del Sacro Cuore, it's the largest private non-for-profit university in Europe. So we are a big university, 40,000 students enrolled approximately, about 10,000% of our students' population is made of international students coming from more than 160 countries all over the globe. We have a national dimension. The only university in Italy have this kind of the, the national dimension. You see from this slide, we have five campuses spread across the country in five beautiful, iconic cities. I am based in the campus of Milano, which is the main, I would say, oldest campus where the international office is located. Milan, you know, is the capital of finance, is the capital of communication, is the capital of marketing. We have a campus in Rome, fully focused, I would say, on healthcare, medicine and surgery. We have a small campus in Brescia and two beautiful uh, sister campuses in the cities of Piacenza and Cremona. And Cremona is somehow the core of this presentation because our master program, Michele Ferrero, is actually taught at the campus of Cremona. You should know that uh, Cremona has a very peculiar position in Italy, like geographically speaking. It's located in what we call the Italian food valley because the majority of the companies active in the agricultural and food sector, they are located there around Cremona. I'm talking about 5,000 companies. Um, and as I was saying, that's where you will be studying if you decide to apply and if you get enrolled in our master. Um, and in Cremona, we have an amazing faculty and we have some representatives today. Uh, the School of Agricultural, Food and Environmental Sciences, which is a top 150 ranked faculty globally which is an amazing achievement. You know that globally we have hundreds of thousands of universities and higher education institutions, so to be ranked 150 is an amazing achievement. But now I will leave the floor to someone who is very familiar with our Cremona campus, Santa Monica, with the program, uh, with the facilities and the labs of the campuses. Professor Lorenzo Morelli, what can you tell us about Cremona? Thank you a lot, Ariana, for the kind introduction. Go directly to where Cremona is. I see in the list of the participants, there are a lot of non-European non uh, potential applicants. Cremona is here, as Ariana has said, in the middle of the Pole Valley. And just have uh, three slides, three photographs from Cremona. This is the central square. The Opera House, we are in Italy, do not forget, and music. Cremona is famous because it is the hometown of the Stivari violins. There is a museum on violins, there is a lot of, uh, let's say, music uh, surrounding and inside the town. But Cremona is definitely a special place. If you are uh, students in Cremona, you can really join a lot of opportunity to have good mu music, a good cultural experience in the music area. But we are talking about a food innovation master, not a music innovation master. So what does it mean? Well, I feel for a student is extremely important to know where is the place, how to live, to really uh, experience the one year of uh, in food innovation. This is the campus. It's a very ancient monastery of the 16th century that is, has been totally restored four years ago. So from one side is uh, brand new. And uh, you can have a look here and a look here of the facilities. They are really amazing. We have a lot of uh, uh, courses, uh, uh, what we call Laurea Magistrale, the two years master, and we have one third of uh, students that are not Italian, and they are really say, oh, it's an amazing place. And just, just to really provide you information about the place. But what is important for you? Because uh, I feel it's quite unique to have a joint experience in between a university and the company, such as Ferrero, is this one. In Italian, we say we would like that our students have the money in pasta. Everyone knows the word pizza, the word pasta. And in Italian, means to have the money in pasta being I am engaged, I am in the center, I am active. 
What we see here is a laboratory with a fresco of the 16th century. This is possible only in Italy to have a very, let's say, update uh, uh, laboratory. This is a food technology. And in the right, there is what we call the artificial mouse, uh, just to uh, provide experience of new foods, how they could be chewed in our mouth. And then we have a fresco of the 16th century. And here we have uh, the pilot plant about production of new bakery products. The master we start with from the pilot plants. We have pilot plants for bakery products, for dairy products, and for meat products. So you, we start with practical experience in this. But we have also a lot of laboratory in which each of you will have its own seat, its own desk just to do the appropriate analysis on the food, on the new food, the innovative food you are going to prepare in the master. And uh, this is my, let's say, last slide before to give the floor to my colleagues. It's, I really hope to see you and to help you, to support you in having money in pasta. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Morelli. Uh, so now we know, let's say, where our students will be studying the campus in Cremona, Santa Monica. Let's dive deeper into the real topic of the webinar, I would say. So let's try to understand a little bit more about the framework of this master program, which, as I learned, is structured around four, five, actually, fundamental pillars last one being the being the business case professor antonio gallo can you hear us can you help us understanding a little bit more about the structure of the master thank you very much ariana and thank you to lorenzo that anticipated me unluckily something happened with my camera but i think that my slide can speak for me and so on so we divided our uh, teaching class, uh, teaching activity into two, four main pillars. And uh, I would to share with you this slide uh, that are organized in a such a way. A brief, a brief description of the main pillars, a bullet point uh, for the topic uh, that will be treated uh, in these uh, uh, pillars. The first one uh, is nutrition. We know that the food system is a complex a dynamic system and we have to move to sustainable data diets as well as uh, improve the quality of our feed for improved human health this is uh, this will be the main topic that will be discussed uh, into these uh, pillars the second one will be technology i would uh, I like uh, one word, one milestone about this, innovation. Uh, this is very important to innovate our uh, feed and food, uh, but uh, from a consumer perspective, uh, technological advancement and also sustainability. This to have safe, more sustainable, a high quality food product. The bullet point uh, will report the main topic will be treated and they are organized about food processing, use of my product, alternative protein, novel technology, as well as food packaging. The feature number three is about science and society because it's very important to understand individual choice of consumer psychology in the food consumption as well as compute consumer behaviorism uh, not just for marketing strategies but also to understand how to communicate how to involve a consumer uh, in healthy and sustainable food these are another uh, pillar of our uh, teaching class the last one uh, will regard the institution because obviously it's very important to move from food security, food policy, food safety, but also to inform consumer uh, in regard to responsibility of corporation. And uh, from this, uh, I will take advantage, advantage to introduce that we are in, new, in a new era in which AI, digitalization, sustainable concept, uh, should be discussed and should be part of this uh, 
complex system uh, that is the food sector. So uh, these are the four finger, but with four finger we have no an end. And uh, the last finger is the business case in which student will work together, small group of three, four students in a holistic integration across nutrition, health, wellness, a business domain. I will uh, uh, leave the uh, speech to uh, Sam uh, people about this. But I would uh, to present my last slide because I anticipated to you that uh, we are in a new era. Uh, so I ask it to AI, what think about our master? This is the solution. You can see here all the pillars uh, in this uh, figure, but obviously we need also uh, human intelligence to improve this picture to go on with uh, uh, our idea. So as Lorenzo told us, we should have money in pasta. Uh, we have five finger in our hand, uh, and uh, to conclude my presentation, I, will, I would leave you two messages. Without finger, we have just a spoon, but only more important, a finger is just a finger. Five finger make an end, uh, and collaboration, many hands make life work. So my recommendation is uh, see you in Cremona to share our hands. Thank you very much, Ariana. Thank you so much for this. Uh, I was thinking actually um, about AI and what you already said, Prof, uh, that at the end of the day, it's fine. We have AI, which is a topic nowadays, and I'm a huge fan of that. Uh, but we also um, need people who actually can do their job, professionals, like experts in, in their job, right? Um, that's why, let me go to the new slide here. Um, uh, Melanie, it's your turn in the sense that I was thinking that an highlight of our program uh, really includes scientific hands-on activities and an internship, if you might call it like that, with an industry giant uh, like Ferrero. And I really believe that this partnership provides a unique chance for a hands-on experience to our students. So I would like you to dig a little bit deeper into that because you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm sure that the audience here is really, really, really interested in this practical part because as an international education officer, we hear that this is what the students are looking for. Thank you very much, Ariana. Um, I'm Melanie Charon. I'm nutritionist and I'm part of the Soremartec um, R&D, part of the Ferrero Group. Um, my name and my accent that is much more on the French side, it's because I'm French Canadian, I'm Quebecoise. Uh, so I'm uh, the, the, the stranger part also of this, uh, of the master, the inter international part. Um, I'm leading a platform in, uh, in Ferrero, a uh, scientific communication platform um, and new ingredient and innovation. And I'm also responsible of all the scientific um, activity linked to the master Michele Ferrero inside um, the company. That means that I will organize for the student a seminar and a webinar of high level. Um, I will guide you into the business case and open the door to our facility and labs. You will be able to smell, to touch, to taste all the, um, the, the raw material as well. And I will um, all of you to visit our plant and our Ferrero Foundation as well. Um, if you um, come into this um, Master Michele Ferrero, you will have this great opportunity to be part of the Ferrero family. That's mean that you will be with us for a couple of months in internship. So you will be with the tutor. We, you will um, collaborate with Ferrero employees. You will be part of a daily working group, um, task work as well. You will receiving practical uh, knowledge on uh, industrial uh, pers um, perspective. And of course, you will have the chance to taste our products. Um, when you will be in Ferrero, you, 
you will have the sense also to improve your soft skills. And um, often the, so the soft skill um, are not um, in the university books. So you will be in business to, um, to see and to learn much more on this uh, soft skill like uh, time management, project management, think out of the box, leadership, uh, working with uh, with teams, um, uh, public uh, public speaking, um, presentation skill. Uh, so you will have um, you will gain a lot in uh, a soft skill. And last but not least, uh, many of the students who have successfully complete the master uh, Michele the program uh, Michele Ferrero. Uh, in the, the past edition, have, uh, have found a job opportunity. So this is something also um, a big a, a big opportunity for you. So thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Melanie. I have to say you had me at the tasting of the raw materials, but um, you know what I think it's really important is what you just mentioned at the end, also the opportunity for the students to actually get a job after graduation, because I guess that the majority of the prospect students we have here, they're interested in that because they maybe already have a bachelor degree, they already have a master degree, they already have like an internship experience or maybe one, two, I don't know, three years uh, working experience in their own country in the industry, but they're looking for, you know, an extra opportunity to enlarge and like improve the possibilities of finding a job in the sector. So as we believe uh, in the importance of the real world application and what you just said, Melanie, is uh, the proof of what I'm saying now, we have established a fifth pillar, right? Uh, as part of the structure of our master, uh, focusing on a business case uh, that somehow, I guess, can challenge uh, students in apply into the real world the theoretical knowledge that they will learn in Cremona through classes and in the laboratories. So I'm welcoming now our next speakers. Uh, there you go, Professor Giuseppe Poli and Professor Senzaghi to tell us more about this what, pillar number five. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Arianna. Good day, everybody in the audience. A major role in the master course will be played by the business case project, the aim of which is to make in practice the development of a new and innovative food product for plus 55 consumers, addressing their special health and wellness expectation and needs. The supervisor, you already heard, is, will be Dr. Melanie Sharon. Master students will work in teams, three, four students each, and after suitable brainstorming, the teams will select their role, starting from considering the consumer's expectations and needs, searching suited literature. Teams will analyze the competitive market, and through adoption of proper technology, they will develop their proof of concept and finally design the prototype. During the whole process of this challenging endeavor, the teams will closely interact with the mentor and the two NPD facilitators, Professor Sagi and me, exploiting the practical help of uh, Sorry Martin Ferrero R&D, and last but not least, the advice and indications provided by the Ferrero Foundation protagonist the Ferrero retirees. While developing their new products, students will practice a great variety of actions as already outlined, such as team working, critical thinking, multidisciplinary approach, time management, immersed in a fascinating food science technology scenario. Sam, please. Okay, so far, well, First, let me introduce myself. Uh, this is Sam Sagi, a greeting from Tel Aviv, Israel. I'm a professor at the Hebrew University, Emeritus, which means that I'm old, but I'm focusing on innovation. And what this program is going to give you is a very unique because we are, I believe, very unique in providing 
real hands-on on innovation, creativity, multidisciplinary approach. Let me start with consumer research. Normally you go to a lab and you do consumer research in the lab. What you're going to do this time is you're going to work with the foundation and you're going to work with the retiree, people that are really interested and you have to learn how to talk to them and how to listen. Secondly, it's going to be a teamwork. And when we're talking about teamwork, it's going to be multidisciplinary because we're going to take different professions of different students working together. And you're going to be judged not only by your personal contribution, but also by your team work and how you integrate in the program. Creativity. We believe that everyone is innovative and has a lot of creativity in it. The question is, or the issue is, how to cultivate it. And by using, and we are not going to teach you, we are going to mentor you. And so there are mentors in the industry and there are mentors in the academic that are going to help you and guide you in a new way to bloom and to create and be very creative and innovative. Entrepreneurship is crucial today when we're talking about all this structure that is going in innovation and, for, and disruption. So entrepreneurship is a must for employability in the future. And I believe once you graduate from the program, your employability is going to be very high. Food science and technology are the basic of everything we're talking about, but we're building on top of that, and we're building a lot of other professional activities like project time, project and time management that you'll have to work very hard, but still have time to allocate to everything. So believe me, this program has a lot of requirements but you are going to grow out of that and be able to interact with the real world. Open innovation actually describes the situation that you are ready to absorb innovation from everyone. And this is what the recent days calls for, that we are going to use all the facilities and all the knowledge in the world to implement for our needs and objective. Problem solving, you are not going to work on a simple problem. You're going to work on a project that has a lot of technical issues, a lot of scientific uh, parts, and you will have to overcome all that. Critical thinking is a tool and a way of life that you have to listen carefully and try to find new ways how to digest the data and how to implement that and that close the circle but this circle is not really closed because it's always going to be open for new ideas and new inputs and new innovation that hopefully is going to cultivate and produce a student that is ready for the external requirements of innovative demands. And we hope to see all of you in Cremona. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Polly and Professor Sagi. And thank you also, Professor Sagi, for, for like touching on um, one important keyword, which I want to highlight during this presentation, which is employability. And we have here Eduardo Zotta, the living example of the level of this master. Okay. Hello. And hello, Eduardo. Living example of this master and the real connection that the master creates with like, like the, the, the industry word. What are you doing now? What do you do? What is a sensory analyst? I forgot to ask you this earlier. And our students here today, they would love to know, I'm sure, about your decision to choose this master and also maybe about the most impactful moments that somehow characterize your experience as a student so they can put themselves in your shoes. 
thank you so much, Ariana. Okay, I, first of all, I'm going to turn off my camera because I am on my mobile data, so I don't want my voice to flicker through the connection while I'm presenting. So, hello everyone, it is a pleasure to be here. And as you can see, my name is Eduardo and I graduated from the ninth edition of the Master Ferraro last November. Uh, a couple of things about me, I am from the heart of the Alps and my background touched the various aspects of the food and wine industry. Right after the master, I got hired in Stodomartic, which is the research division of Ferraro as a sensory analyst. But how did I get there? I was 27 at the time, and I was beginning to wonder where my place in the world actually was. I was a manager in a big cheese consortium, and uh, I felt like I did not belong there. So I asked myself, where do I picture myself? But before answering that question, I needed to understand what I am actually passionate about. I mean, food for me was both the starting point and the finish line, but I wanted to understand where in the food system I wanted to find myself. So being my life about creativity and innovation and wanting to bring my ideas to life, I decided to enroll in the Master Ferrero. But why? Because I wanted more. I wanted to acquire those skills and knowledge that was missing in my life because I needed them to grow. And to do that, I decided that to achieve that, I wanted to go back to the university. But not only that, the reason I chose this master is because of the great professionalization and true approach of the research and development job. But what does this master teach you? First of all, it is an up-to-date course. So I learned about the latest discoveries and technologies. But not only that, it is a structure in a way that made me put my head in the game to bring various projects and researches to life. So I learned how to organize different loads of work on a strict time schedule. One thing I loved about it was also the fact that I got insight from various fields of studies and courses. And it really lets you blend that knowledge to develop this multidisciplinary approach. And let me tell you, it is invaluable for nowadays work. And last but not least, it gave me the opportunity to prove myself and really put myself out there in a year-long competition for best student, best thesis, and best business case project. And the most impactful, impactful, <laughs> impactful thing that happened in the master were also the biggest challenges, namely the master thesis and the business case project. On one hand, my experimental thesis on artificial intelligence applied to rheology and sensory science opened up my mind to new researches and opportunities to update myself on new fields that are being born in the food industry. I had the opportunity to work with one of the most well-equipped laboratories in Italy in terms of rheology instruments. But do not think that equipment is everything. Ferrero only hires la creme de la creme. So the impact that my own colleagues and tutor had on me was determining. Remember that when you are around professional figures, open yourself up and take the most out of it and learn. And about the business case, it taught me the real team value. And thanks to that, me and my team were able to collaborate with six different laboratories to develop our concept of new product. And that was very important because we had the opportunity to have a real approach to the actual workflow in Ferrero. And do not underestimate this place because it is the best Italian company in the field of food. But remember, it is important that you also leave your own mark here. So please remember to be the impactful factor for yourself. But let's dive deeper into the business case because it was really determining in my master experience. The goal here was to work in teams of three or four people to develop an innovative food product, something that did not exist before, targeting in our case, people aged over 55. There, I could finally let my creativity and skill explode. I could go crazy with ideas and experiments. And the good thing about it was that we had the guidance of a mentor, which in my case was the head of the food trend, and countless of professional figures to get ideas and information from. And besides having on hand every possible ingredient and tool and machine to experiment with. And me and my team created such an innovative product that we eventually won the prize for best business case at the end. But, one thing I, want to sh I would like to share with you is the importance of setting your goal. And this is true for everything in your, in your life. Picture yourself where you want to be. Then make a plan on how to get there and also a deadline. You want to have, I don't know, iron abs? Hit the gym the right amount of time. Eat the right thing. Set a time limit and with perseverance, you will get there. And same thing goes with your future. 
set your goal on where you want to be and stick to your plan to get there. Because doing things thoughtlessly, just for the sake of it, will get you nowhere in life. And remember, guys, your will is your greatest power. Thank you. Thank you, Eduardo. Amazing. Actually, I still feel the enthusiasm about the experience uh, from like a student perspective, because I can picture you as a student of the master, but I see that you love what you're doing now. Yes, it was very impactful. <laughs> for who's listening now. Really, thank you for sharing this. Let's thank say so that we have here students a bit undecided, prospective students a bit undecided whether they want or not to apply for the program this year. Maybe I can wait or I should have done that earlier. It's too late. What would you recommend? What's your final advice uh, well, for these students? I think that connecting to what I just said, I will give the advice of uh, you know being honest and ask themselves the right question which is not what do I want to be, but who do I want to be? And if the answer is a better version of myself, then Master, Master Ferrero is your future. Thank you. Thank you so much, Eduardo. And listen, mm -hmm. talking about the right questions the students should ask themselves, you should ask yourself and you should ask me and the audience at Catolica, how do you apply for how do I apply for this master? Where about tuition, fees, and scholarships? The timeline. These are questions, very boring information. I know, I know, but you should ask yourself now. So the applications are open. I did not mention this at the beginning of the presentation, but applications are open. So if you want to start studying with us, with Catolica, with Ferrero, starting from mid-October 2024, this is the right time to apply. Applications are open. Next application deadline will be March the 26th. Then we'll have one more deadline, May the 9th, and the final one, June the 27th. Especially for students, prospective students coming from a known European Union country, meaning students who need to apply for a study visa, my suggestion is apply now, okay? Because then there is, like, we need time to process the application, evaluate it, send the feedback, then you will need to pre-enroll through a portal, which is called Universitaly, in order to like do the next step of the process, which is apply for your visa. You have time, so do not waste time, okay? We said at the beginning of the presentation that this is a one-year specializing master. It is a second level spe specializing master, okay? So, what are the documents you would need to submit? Not just a copy of your passport, but also official transcript of your bachelor and master degree. Okay, in order to start, you need to have this kind of background, bachelor plus master. So we want to see your transcript of records, very important, because we need to understand what you have studied so far, if you have the right academic background to be able to take the classes that will be part of the master. We need a copy of your official high school diploma, just a copy of the diploma. We are not interested in what you did study at a high school level on your score, just a diploma. A copy of your bachelor degree and master degree if already available. What does it mean? If you are in your last year of your master degree, it's just fine. You just need to show that you're actually enrolled at a university for a master degree. That's going to be okay. We need an academic or a professional reference letter. So go knock at the door of one of your professors and ask for them to like write a good, um reference letter for you or if you're taking an internship for example or if you're currently employed just go to your employer and ask the same uh, we want to see your cv your curriculum vitae we want a good motivation letter so why uh, ferrero catolica should select you why are you the right candidate for this master what are your future plans what do you want to do after that do you already have a project eduardo was talking about projects you already have one what do you want to do after you get your final, let's say, certificate from the master. Be careful because this is very peculiar. Your motivation letter must contain a link to a two-minute presentation video summarizing your motivation to join the program. We want to actually see you, feel you, okay? And this is why the video. And proof of English language proficiency. The master is going to be taught in English, so we have English language requirements. I'm not going to share them now, but the usual one, I would say, you know, at 6.0, TOEFL 90 on the university website, you'll find this information. Later on, I will share our office contact uh, information so you can just write to us uh, after the webinar. Tuition fees, uh, money matters. We know that. You want to budget 5,000 euros per year. 
okay? Which is, um, I don't like when people say that education in Italy is cheap because I don't think it's correct. Education in Italy is affordable, very high quality level of education for with affordable tuition fees. This is Italy. The access to higher education is conceived as a right to everyone and not as a privilege, okay? Um, scholarships, yes, we do offer scholarships, uh, very generous scholarships, I have to say, for this master specifically. So candidates consider have an outstanding profile will be eligible for the Fondazione Piera Pietro and Giovanni Ferrero uh, scholarship that will cover the full tuition fee, okay? So I'm not saying it's going to be for everyone. The selection, selection is going to be challenging, tough, because the program is an excellent one, but you can basically study with the full tuition fee waived. Thank you to the generosity of Fondazione Piera Pietro and Giovanni Ferrero. Study up, yes, if you are a non-European student, you will need to apply for one. Do not be worried now. You just focus on the application procedure and later on uh, my office, regional managers will support you with that, helping you, you know, getting in touch with the MC, with the consulate in your country and also understanding what about the documents you need to prepare in order to submit your visa application because you will be in Italy studying here, so you will need one. If we convinced you that the Ferrero Master is the right program for you. You can scan this QR code and start the application procedure on the university portal. I'm telling you, the application form is incredibly self-explanatory. So basic information, like personal information, what do you live? You upload all the documents that I shared in my previous slide into the application form, you submit your application. And then our international admissions office, together with the faculty, uh, will take care of its evaluation. Don't forget about the upcoming deadline for this. And this was our last slide. I want to thank you for the attention. And I also want to thank uh, our speakers because this was very insightful and interesting for me too. Uh, this is the contact information of the International Education Office, international.inquiry.unicat.it. Any kind of question you have on the program, on the duration, on the visa, on the tuition, on the scholarship, you just send us an email. Okay, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. You have our phone number and uh, the official university website, like international website, which is international.unicat.it. Look, I guess it's your turn now because we might have, I did not check the chat box, but we might have questions from the audience. Yes, indeed. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Ariana, and also everyone else, all the speakers already for your great presentations. Um, I'm sure that was very uh, insightful for everyone. However, if there's still something unclear, this is the moment that you can ask your questions. We did receive already uh, some questions. I will go through them. Um, I just want to highlight also that um, for the people that watch the recording, I know these days uh, more and more people actually uh, also watch the recording, you can also still write questions. So you can participate in the interactive options as well. Um, you can answer polls as well, uh, write questions, and we will make sure um, to pass them on to Universita Cattolica de Sacre Cuore. I said it all right. Um, now, without further ado, let's go to the questions. And the first question we had was from, uh, let's see, Morsley asking about the advantages. I hope that was explained uh, and the benefits of the uh, grant. So I guess that was the part of the scholarship I think that Ariana just explained. Um, That's correct. I don't know if you have anything to add, but I think that was answered probably. Yes. Um, uh Connecting to this question, Luke, I think this might be interesting and it's part maybe of the questions asked by the student. What are, yeah. I'm asking here to the professors and also to Ferrero actually, what's the best, describe if you can, what's the best candidate for this program? How would you describe yeah. the best candidate? I know they must have a certain academic background, uh, but I'm really curious to get to know more about this because I'm sure this is a crucial point for everyone who's listening to us today. I'm not sure who can... Uh, reply to this question. Melanie, I think it's uh, the right person. Thank you very much. Yeah, we are looking for people that has a scientific background. So uh, could be in biology, food technology, medicine, um, biochemistry, chemistry, 
Um, so this is a high, uh, high scientific background, I would say, uh, that they are well prepared, good English, all as, as, um, as you said, um, Ariana, all the courses, the lesson and everything, all the communication will be in English. So I will be pleased also that all the communication uh, that we can share right now will be also in English. So uh, this is how we will run the master. If I don't know if from, from the, uh, the university, if you have much more detail on um, the candidate or the background, please. Just to have uh, a, a couple of um, additional information, uh, we are used in the previous edition of the master to have very students with very very different background. Uh, I think uh, it's worthwhile to remember that there are only ten positions in the master, so we select only ten people from all around the world. And this also means that the background is different, is obviously different, because the teaching activities are different from one continent to another, from one nation to another. And so the beginning of uh, the teaching parts here in Cremona will be also devoted to kind of, uh, let's say, leveling hmm, the preparation and to support all the students whenever they arrive to have exactly the same basic background preparation. So that's important. Thank you, Prof, and thank you, Melanie. Again, a second level specializing master. So you need to have bachelor and master of science degree. Okay, you need this kind of background and the master degree must be obtained by mid July this year. This is another very important piece of information. And I feel it's important to share. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I hope that answered that question. Um, maybe also for some people that were wondering if they can apply. So I think uh, that was uh, clear given a bit of the background that's needed. Um, just to make sure, Yaya Ram was uh, indicating he has um, he science and technology is his interest, but he has a background in industrial food production and engineering and chef work. And if he, he asks if he can apply. It seems I see Melanie and Professor Morelli saying sure. yes. <laughs> Of course, I think that's a good background as well. Good to hear. Question from Flavia, which I think has already been answered, um, but there was some misunderstanding on the time of uh, 2025, January. Um, I think, Melanie, if it was you, uh, maybe that um, rectified that, maybe just for everyone to make sure. Yes, look, I think that the, the question was happened during the business case presentation. Right. So, uh, so it's why maybe it's um, giving some confusing mm -hmm. there. Uh, the program will start in October 2024, so that's right. For uh, and but but the, the the business case will start a little bit later on, just to have the chance for the student to go into the academic program very well and to start slowly but safely. Um, the, the the business case much more around January, so this this is the the timetable. Okay, thank you. To make sure, um, I think we had a question from Angeles who's asking, do you have any Italian learning program for Spanish speakers? And maybe actually other not specifically for spanish speaker yeah. but we do have language courses yes at the university and my suggestion is and this is a suggestion i give to all our international like, students despite the program they want to apply for especially if you're a spanish speaker the two languages are very similar download start by downloading an app on your mobile phone which can be any kind of you know i'm not sharing any brand but you know it's full of duolingo it's one of those start learning italian and and this actually gives me the chance Luke, to touch on this point yep. you'll be studying in english so english is a requirement but you will be living in italy okay so my suggestion is if even if it is not mandatory start learning a little bit of italian before you arrive uh in cremona that will help you to your daily life okay you'll be able to really interact with the local people and to get the most from your experience just to add uh, a, a little bit of uh, real life, 
Here in Cremona, we have a Master of Science degree uh, with one third of the students that are not Italian. And uh, it's a really amazing uh, in which a fast way they can uh, really cope uh, with the Italian language, at, le at least uh, the basic. Uh, if you go into the bar, uh, I joke with them, I really joke with them. The most important thing is not to order cappuccino after 11 o'clock in the morning, otherwise you will be killed, and, uh, and not to drink cappuccino with pasta at the lunchtime. And, uh, but there is a very, very good group. And uh, there is another information. Uh, there is uh, one student what previous student were graduating our Master of Science in Food Processing is Andrea. Uh, he is already hired for you. And so you will have the 10 people uh, uh, joining the master. We'll have an Italian tutor taking care of all the needs of these students, just to try to communicate in Italian and other language. But don't worry, we had students from Honolulu up to India and uh, everyone survived perfectly in Italy. Great. Thank you for that addition. And I hope that helps some of the students as well. And let's go on to the next questions. Um, we received some more. Um, so Ola Yinka, if I say that right, uh, is a graduate of animal science degree in agriculture and a professional now working in agrofood. Uh, as an agrofood specialist, um, she wants to know if her English uh, as an undergraduate study can be used as a proof of English proficiency. When did you graduate? That would be my, I'm, I'm talking here on behalf of the International Admissions Office, that would probably help to have an interview and to have a certificate. Because I understand you already have working experience, you have a master degree, I did not get uh, the, the subject area, but I guess that you received your bachelor degree a few years back. So just to be on the safe side, I would probably submit a certificate of English. Also because we just shared. I do not want to discourage you, okay? I'm just telling you that as Professor Morelli was mentioning, we have 10 seats available. Applicants coming from all over the globe. Everything is fully taught in English. You have the chance to get a food scholarship, submit this certificate because this will help your application, you know, getting uh, higher in the ranking in terms of getting a positive feedback on admission, but also uh, for the scholarship. So please study English, refresh it, unless you also have a master degree maybe in like obtaining in a native English speaking country, that would be another story and we can cover this later if you send me an email. But my suggestion is as English is a like, requirement submit a certificate this would help okay thank you next question um alina do you help me to find an internship for the master i will leave this to our professors or melanie maybe we want to like refresh a little bit the information we gave about the structure of the master and the way it is conceived about the business case I guess specifically the fifth pillar the fifth finger of the master but uh, Melanie, uh, you about the the information. Uh, it's a Melanie I think yes okay um after after the um the month uh, into the, into the academic um, uh, courses and lesson, a student will spend um, a couple of months in uh, in Alba at the Ferrero, and um, they will be followed by by a tutor. Each student will have a tutor. Uh, usually, we have the company uh, the company tutor and academic tutor, so they are quite cover uh, as a tutorship. So we don't have to find, find out an internship. They will be part of the Ferrero uh, company and uh, they will be um, working with, um, with, the, um, with Ferrero employees. So I'm not sure that I answer to your question. Melanie, let me, let me add on top of that uh, internship. Yeah, internship is an essential part of the program. 
The business case includes internship at Ferrero. During this time, every student will spend about six months in Ferrero working with a mentor that is assigned to the team. You'll be working with three or four other students in your team, all of them under the same internship condition. On top of that, you'll have an academic mentor that is going also to deal with uh, motivating you in the right direction scientifically, technology-wise, innovative-wise, and so on. And all of that is under the umbrella of Ferrero. So actually, although it is a master program, it is also an internship program. And both of them are going to increase dramatically your chances for employability, because that's actually what is required today for innovative society and demanding society. What is needed from you as a student in this program is to have a dream, a dream that will take you and break whatever limits that you have right now, and the sky is the limit, is not the right direction, or is not the right uh, uh, sentence to quote, there is no limits. It's the only limit is what you uh, allow yourself to dream of, and this is what is required to be able to dream your future. Great. Just thank to you. I think, thank you very much, uh, Sam. Sorry, uh, just to add and to specify that you will spend um, just after the uh, academic experience. So in May, June, you will stay in Alba for these two months. But the business case will be longer, of course. So it will cross the academic and the internship part. But your stay in Alba, it's about yeah two months. Okay, thank you very much. Hope that answered the question. I, I saw the thumbs up coming along throughout the, the answer, so I think uh, that was uh, giving the answer. Otherwise, let us know. Um, next question from Angeles. Can you explain a bit more about the video? And I saw this question coming in when the, I think it's about the- uh, It's about the video apply, right? it's required. Yeah, the it's video the that, that we require. You know, we had generally uh, in the past, we had a lot of applications and uh, there is a selection procedure hmm? starting from the bureaucracy, the, let's say the transcript, the, the master degree certificate and so on. in a couple of minutes, no more, uh, you would like to transmit to us, the selection committee, your motivation, why you are applying, which is your goal, which is your dream. And uh, this is important just to have a first contact in between, even if a digital contact, in between us and you, and to try to understand your motivation. Mm -hmm. And then there will be a third selection step that will be a, a Teams, a, a, a video call just to have a further selection procedure. But the video is in a replacement in place of the motivation letter. Okay, hope that answered that question. Thank you. Um, next question, will the master be provided every two years or also will there also be a version in 2025? Alessandra was asking. No, it's every two years. Every two years. Okay, thank you. Moving on, uh, Mohamed asks, uh, I have done an undergraduate in food process engineering and the question is, uh, is having a master degree optional or mandatory for the program? It is mandatory because it is a second level specializing master. So you need to have a bachelor degree and a master degree already or being enrolled in your last year of the master degree path, graduating by mid-July this year. Okay. Thank you. 
And next question, um, let's see, about the scholarship, there are a couple of people asking, what are the mission conditions to get the Master Ferrero Scholarship? Do you want to add something to that? There is a selection, Professor Morelli, I leave this to you in the sense that the, con the basic, the minimum conditions you have to meet are those like entry, like specific entry requirements, having a certain specific academic background, having an English language proficiency and so on. But that's the minimum requirement. Then it is a merit-based scholarship. So, you know, you must excel. Absolutely. I would say. But Professor Morelli, I will leave this to you. Yes, it's uh, the kind of, we, we, we have to score, uh, to provide a score to, to, to the applicants, uh, taking in consideration the previous academic career, so which is the graduation of the bachelor, which is the graduation of the master of science degree, uh, the level of English, uh, and uh, our, let's say, feeling in the in vivo context. So this is uh, the, was the the history in the previous edition. This is the tenth edition. Huh? I, I think it's uh, uh, correct to point out that uh, the, the, the master started 20 years ago. And so that's the, the tenth edition, and uh, we have an experience in this. It's obviously the scholarship are only for the highest ranking applicants. Okay. Mariana, Thank there you. will be, excuse me, there, because there are other questions about this aspect. There is a first step of assessment of qualification of each student that is based on specific points uh, and uh, with regard to the final uh, degree of uh, each laurea, the qualification, motivation letter, and so on. And then uh, there will be also a personal interview for uh, the first uh, uh, in the list student that. Uh, will go on with uh, the last uh, 10 position. Obviously, all is explained in the website. Thank you. And we are available again uh, if you have further questions uh, on this. Yes, and I put the link to the website uh, in the chat. So there you find the link to the actual program overview. So I, I click on that and have a look at that after the session also there's the application um link so that uh, ariana was sharing in the uh, qr code so that is actually the link that should lead you there as well that's the application portal right correct yes okay good uh, let's move on a couple more questions just so we have a little bit more time just to make sure we can answer those um let's see um, yeah, so Mechadi or Mechadi, if I say that right, uh, asked about the interview. Uh, can you provide a little bit more information about that, how you will evaluate us? That's uh, <laughs> that's a tricky question. I mm. think is uh, the interaction, the, the, the interview, there will be a committee in which there will be people from Fondazione Ferrero, and uh, uh, Catholic University and other universities, Italian universities. So it will be a very mixed panel of uh, people. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, there are two main areas of the interview. One is really to have a further look to the scientific background with some specific uh, items in food, food nutrition, food technology. But what is more important is the interaction about, let's say, the real motivation, the enthusiasm, and the willingness to be engaged in a 100% way. This is most important. If you have a look to the selected people in the previous ninth edition, you will see that the background is very, very different. And Eduardo could, uh, could be a witness of this. But uh, the board, most important thing is just to be sure what these people would like to be in the future. It's a really motivation a dialogue in between the selection panel and the applicant. Okay. Thank you. 
I hope that answered the question also from Amira. You were giving a similar question about the glimpse of an interview. So I think that was uh, leading into this question as well. If you want to know a little bit more, let us know. We still have a couple of minutes. Um, next question, however, is from Flavia. Is there already a calendar of lessons in which the location between Alba and Cremona is speci specified? Would you please repeat the question, Luke? Because I think it was not sure. 100% clear it's, to me. It's a question from Flavia uh, in the question tab. Is there already a calendar of lessons in which the location between Alba and Cremona is specified? Uh, has Melanie has specified that the internship in Alba will be in May, June next year, 2025. The lesson we start here in Cremona, and the background is the campus, the Catholic campus in Cremona, on October 24, I believe, this year. And we will continue till April, on the beginning of April, here in Cremona. And here we will also start the teaching part of the business case, but the core of the business case will be held in Alba, in May, June. And uh, we will support all the uh, selected people in uh, find out uh, an accommodation here in Cremona and Ferrero, which support the students for the accommodation. Now. Exactly. OK, I hope that answers that question. And I think those were the questions we received. I think the others have been answered. Um, so let me check quickly the chat. There was there anything else, but I think we've gone through that. Uh, yeah, so that's been answered as well. So slowly, I think, uh, if there, unless there's still a question coming in, we uh, will be rounding off the, the session. Um, so if there's still the one last one, I can take it. Uh, just to mention um, that, yeah, all the people, uh, first of all, thanks for giving your feedback also to the pollings. Um, so that's very useful. Also for, again, people that watch the recording, you can also uh, still answer the poll questions. Um, we would like to hear from you, of course, as well. Um, and also you can write your questions. So you can still do that. Uh, of course, we cannot answer them now live right here, but we will be sending through to uh, probably the team of Ariana, I would say, and they uh, can come back to you later. Um, and having said that, there's no more questions. I have a last poll question coming up, but um, yeah, just to see how we did. Uh, if you felt the session was good, then uh, we'd like to know, or if you feel there's uh, room for some improvement, we also like to know that. So I'm gonna put it right on the screen there it is please let us know you're great to us um, so hopefully um, we managed to, to meet your expectations uh, so far i see uh, we're doing pretty good so that's good to see and um for my side thanks everyone for having joined we had a lot of different people joining in from different parts of the world even uh, different countries joining in and maybe some of you will be lucky, I would almost say, to be one of the 10, right? So um, of people that can get this one year specialized master in innovation in food science and technology. Last words, uh, well, before I give the last words over to Ariana, I'd like to thank everyone of the panelists, of course, to join that took the time, all the professors, uh, all of you, thank you very much. Uh, for taking the time in your busy day. I am sure you uh, you are. And uh, the student Eduardo as well, thanks a lot for your insights. You are the example of, I guess, for the future potential students that are maybe listening now. So great to hear. Thank you all very much. And uh, Ariana, over to you. I just would like to say thank you once again to the students, prospective students, to you, look to our speakers today, for everyone who took, you know, some time out their agenda to be with us today. And we hope this was insightful, informative, uh, and we hope to see you here in Catolica at the Cremona campus and then at Ferrero in Alba. So thank you. Once again, any questions, you just feel free to drop us an email and we'll be happy to help you. Great. Thanks, everyone. Bye.
Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.